Good morning, everyone. We're back with another Modern Warfare 2 video. Of course, it requires a restart. Okay, so I'm back and I updated the game for the 50th time. I think I just figured out how this battle system thing works. I was watching my last video and said I had 62 tokens and I didn't know what the hell it meant. So I was over on stream the other night, twitch.tv slash Petra, and I came across this page where you could just buy the battle pass. So I'm actually not sure if it's the whole battle pass. Is this the entire thing? It can't be, right? There has to be other sectors. I actually found out that there was a YouTube studio app. I didn't know this on YouTube, but every Ever since I started uploading, after every upload, I get like a YouTube video recommendation. I'll go to YouTube Studio and I can see which videos my videos are being recommended in. I know who I'm sharing an audience with. Now that I'm sharing an audience with anyone, I could see who was watching me and what they watched. It was really interesting. Before I started uploading, I didn't have any idea about the data that YouTube gives you. So I wanted to talk about the FIFA Finals. Argentina scored 2-0 before halftime. Mbappe caught up with two scores. He got two scores in two minutes back to back. And, and then Argentina scored again. And then Mbappe scored a hat trick, which made it 3-3 three to three in the 123rd minute, right before it went to penalties on extended time. Um, Mbappe tried to score again. Is there an AR I can steal? Nope, I don't want it. And then it went to penalties. Right when it went to penalties is when my shift started. I was helping customers and on my cash register, I acted like I was on my calculator and I put YouTube's picture, picture on so I could watch the penalty kicks. And I watched the penalty kick up until Argentina scored their last penalty kick, which secured a W. But at that point, like I knew, it was really unlikely. France theoretically could have came back. Man, what a fucking game. I saw Elon Musk fold. I think Elon Musk was about to retire no matter what. With the rate that Twitter was going down, it was literally just a money pit. With the way that he bought Twitter, no matter what Twitter did, unless it had literally everyone in the world using it every single day at every minute of the day, it would not have gotten out of the debt that Elon Musk put the company into. He's only gonna let Twitter Blue users vote on polls now that affect policy. I saw a clip from the Impulsive podcast of Logan Paul talking about religion. There's two parts of me. There's part of me that agrees with Logan that there is a book that openly reprehends homosexuality. I personally think that's ridiculous. I grew up in a religious family and I was like the only one growing up who was not religious. Growing up, I was religious until I started to think for myself a little bit. And I started to question the Bible. I started asking way too many questions for me to keep on believing and feel comfortable with it. So that's when I decided to no longer identify with any religion. And when I tell people that, they try and tell me, oh, you're agnostic. No, I'm not. I'm not agnostic. I'm not Christian. I'm not anything. I don't believe that there is no God. I don't believe that there is God. I don't really have an opinion on the matter. What I do have an opinion on is how you go about that belief. My mom's religious. Do I berate her for that? No, because it'd be fucking rude. Religion is a tool that people can use. Whether that moral compass be something that I agree with is none of my business, but I think it could serve as a good guide for people. Logan Paul's friend, or I don't know his name, he said that no one in his life berates him for being religious. Okay, it's fine if you're not religious. What's not okay is openly going up to someone and mocking them for being religious. I, I don't believe in God. So I think if your friend who is religious goes up to you and he starts a religious conversation knowing that you're not religious and you tell him that you do not believe in God, Okay, I think that's okay. I know when I was younger, I made that same mistake. When I first stopped believing in Christianity, I made the mistake that Logan Paul made, which was berating people for their religion and mocking them. It was ridiculous. I was a kid. I didn't know any better. You know what I did? I grew out of it. I realized how silly and goofy it was. Anyways, there was a guy in Twitch chat. I said he wanted to be a mass murderer and people contacted the authorities. And when I first heard that story, I was confused. I was thinking, what would you even say when you contact the authorities? I would have never expected Twitch chat to do that. The most I would expect is just for the streamer to ban the chatter. I am glad that the FBI took action because I believe it's such a good precedent that you just can't go online and make random threats and suffer no consequences. There have been a lot of instances of criminals advertising their crimes online. Apparently, he didn't have any guns in his possession. I think they determined that he actually had no intent to carry it out, but what if he did? That has happened before. Anyways, I know this is old news by a time of recording. There is a guy who asked a viewer in his chat how she was and where she has been, and they respond, my mom died. And then he goes and he says that that is a big bucket of bummer. There's two ways to look at this. From the streamer, and there's a way to look at this from the viewer. The viewer might have just been saying, hey, I haven't been on because my mom died. I understand as a streamer, I would feel uncomfortable if someone were to come into my chat and I'm prompt out of nowhere tell me news like that because I don't know what you want me to say it's different when you ask someone hey where have you been and then they tell you my mom died I haven't been on because of that and then he goes on like for 10 minutes shitting on this regular of his the viewer goes on Twitter and apologize I know that trauma dumping and parasocial relationships have been an issue in the Twitch community for a while where viewers will start to think that they are your friend that is 100% a real issue but I don't believe that's what happens here I actually watched a little bit of his response video where he said that the viewer brought it up like two or three times until he acknowledged it. He said that the viewer brought her mom dying up like two or three times until he acknowledged it. Anything would have 
fucking been better than what he said. I think the issue of parasocial relationships is definitely something that should be brought up more in the streaming community. However, I don't think it should be brought up as a direct correlation. He literally just asks you, like, where the fuck have you been? It all depends. If someone were to come into my chat and trauma dump, like, out of nowhere, I don't know who they are. That's kind of weird. But context does mean everything. He brought it up multiple times. But at the same time, you asked the question. Apparently, oh yeah, he also got mad because she didn't respond the way that he wanted him to respond. When I first saw his reaction, I thought he was going to do a bit. He said there's two ways to respond to someone when they ask, how are you? If someone asks me how I've been and I don't know the person, I'm just going to say, oh yeah, dude, like, I've been okay. Like, how are you? But if I know the person and they ask me, where have you been? How are you? Then that's different. Then I might feel more comfortable with telling them, you know what? I don't want to have fun today. Now, my last video actually got 32 views. I actually like the way that video turned out. But anyway, I caught up on Chainsaw Man like two or three weeks ago. Spoiler alert, I guess. I started catching up where Denji and Power first met. I don't know his name, but the old guy who's teaching them. Why before Aki meets the future devil? On the end of that episode, when Aki walks into the room, like I could not wait another week. I went directly and read the entire manga that same day. But I actually started to read Berserk and I finished the Black Swordsman arc. There was like two or three times where I had to just sit back and try and understand what the fuck I was looking at. I was reading it and called a buddy of mine who already watched Berserk. I asked him, I was like, hey man, like what the fuck just happened? Because I don't know what I'm looking at right now. I understood what happened for the most part. I was looking forward to this episode that recently came out because it introduced Shark Boy. I've been waiting for Shark Boy to come out for the past two weeks ever since I read the manga. I know they introduced Femboy, Sharky, and Spidusty, and then the violence team, bro. Birdman. I'm not gonna say much, but he's killer as fuck. That guy's badass. They literally put him in a poison mask to, uh, to like hinder his power because of how strong he is. He is too much of a menace to be left alone. I just played a Fortnite game right before I started recording. I dropped a 23 kill win. Literally yesterday night before I went to work, I played like five games. I think I died off spawn like 10 times. So I think that set my MMR so low. I got into a lobby with people who are playing with their monitor turned off and no headphones. I, I kind of don't want to play another game because now that I did really well in that lobby, I know that the next lobby I'm probably going to get faced off against people who are way better than me, which is like 90% of players. But... I want to have fun now. By the time my sniper reloads, they've already captured an objective and voted for 2024. They're all just holding that corner. We're not doing anything about it. Yep, there they go. Now they're actually pushing. Fuck you. I'm really trying to make YouTube or streaming like my job. Like, I know it sounds unrealistic. I don't have combined. I don't have a thousand followers on social media. My dream be able to make twice of what I'm making right now at my nine to five job on internet content. On days that I have off, what I'll do is I'll edit from seven in the morning until around 11 ish. And then I'll take a little break. I'll hit the gym at 3 p.m. I'll usually start by stream and stream until eight. And that's about nine hours per day that I'm putting into making content. Right before I started recording or streaming, I was literally playing with no headphones on, listening to a podcast and eating breakfast, and I dropped 23 kills and won the game. I'll go online and I'll stream and I'll like be giving my full attention and then I'll just die off spawn 10 times. I think I just get too mental. I think this is my fifth or sixth video that I'm recording and I'm a lot more comfortable than I was in my first recording. My first recording, I was really nervous when I was recording that video because I was just thinking like, oh, what is the viewer going to think? Is the viewer going to watch? How's the retention rate? I was thinking about all that dumb shit and I wasn't just sitting back and playing games, which when I... I'll, I was talking to my friend who's also a YouTuber. I'll link his channel in the description. And I asked him what he honestly thought about my videos. I told him to tell me if they're bad. He said that they were entertaining and that he's never seen uh, videos like it where it's live commentary while playing a game. I don't want to just upload a video of me playing a game with like no audio and no face cam because no one's going to watch that. I remember I was watching a Tim the Tatman video like a few years ago and he said, no one's going to watch your stream unless you're constantly talking, which is true. If a viewer goes into your stream and you're just sitting there listening to Spotify and playing games, no one's going to watch. If you're streaming and you're not providing any content or anything that makes your gameplay unique, rather unique to you and your personality, no one's going to keep on watching. Anyone can load up their own game, load up Spotify and just play it that way. That's what I did for a while. That's why I didn't upload for a while. And I was still playing with my friends. I still have a good time, but I just wasn't streaming it. When I would do that, I would feel guilty because I would think, man, I could be streaming right now. It wasn't until I was watching a stream from Soda Poppin and he just randomly brought up like, yeah, like I'll get off stream and I'll just talk to my friends. That kind of made me realize that it was okay to just chill and not make content all the time. Yeah, it's good to make content, but like it's also okay to just sit back and have a good time on your computer. And I think a big reason why I stopped streaming, it took the fun out of it for me. I viewed every time I got on my computer as a time that I would have to record or go live. Like, 
and it was a lot of pressure that I just didn't want to deal with anymore. I know in my Warzone video, I talked about that a little bit. I didn't talk about how much anxiety I had. I wouldn't be able to go to sleep. I would be staying up and watching my VOD back, going in random points, seeing if I was talking. And it wasn't until I just started taking a more relaxed approach of... I'll just, I'll just play the game as if I wasn't streaming because when I play the game as if I'm not streaming, like I still talk to myself. It's a habit. I played straight, completely off stream, completely off the recording. And I was still talking while I was playing it. I think a lot, what a lot of people don't realize is talking by yourself and having that being entertaining, that's a muscle. The more you do it, it's like working out. Like the more you work out that muscle, the better it's gonna be. Look, I'm swatting a fly again. Can I just aim at the enemy and kill him please? I used to play games with my friends offline a lot and I would like have those moments where I would just yell and get mad and my friends would tell me that I should just record that like me getting angry and ranting is funny but I don't want my content to just revolve around that I don't want people to think of me as the youtuber that screams I don't even want people to watch me for the game I play I just want people to watch my videos for me and for what I have to say I would go in game chat and say something but I want to go to heaven so Okay, okay. Can I breathe? I, I can't even tell what's happening. I might as well be playing with a fucking blindfold on. Anyways, we won. Um, my day's gonna be good now. If we lost that game, I would've been pissed. I don't know. I think I'm gonna wrap up this video with just saying that I want people to watch my videos for me and what I have to say. Rather, not the game that I'm uploading. That's it. Peace.